Hey, good morning, folks. How's that for a preview video? Zach put that together uh, on, the, on the submarine for us. Didn't know what he was doing. He came in, showed it to me. I'm like, yeah, that was cool. So did a great job on that. Uh, let me show you what's going on. So now you get to put up with me telling you about the submarine. And it's actually going up for sale. This has been one of our favorite projects that we've been working on here. Um, first, let me tell you a little bit about the van itself. It's a 1988 Chevy G30. A uh, one-ton travel craft. It's 24 feet long. The store on this is a gentleman purchased this. He owned a mechanic shop. Uh, he went through it mechanically, did all seven new tires, um, tune-up carburetor, all that kind of stuff on it, and then started tearing out the inside, and COVID hit. And he couldn't finish it, just, just got to visit other stuff. So I we bought it. Got it in here and just thought it was a great blank canvas for us to do something with. So we completely redid the interior. Um, it was cool having the mechanical stuff done already by a shop. And uh, so let me just take a quick trip around it for you and show it to you. It's all original paint. So there's some imperfections and stuff, but overall, what a cool vehicle. So we started out with um, all brand new LED lights, including cool LED headlights as well. Uh, low beams and then the kick on for both the high beams there. That's the parking light setup right there. Um, it is original paint, so there is some fading on the clear coat where the sun would hit it once in a while, obviously. A um, couple of chips down there. But overall, it's rust-free. It looks good. Looks, looks great, I think. So we'll take a lap around it. Again, seven new tires on it, including the spare, you know, for if you're wondering where the seven one is, because there's six, and whatever. You know how to count, I think. I need help once in a while. Water heater. That's the back of the refrigerator there. There's no awning on it. A little couple cracks in the fiberglass here. These are cool. So tail lights, they use a uh, like an uh, 85 GM station wagon tail lights on this thing. New LED lights in the back. No hitch on this. It kind of sits too low to put a hitch on it. 350 Chevy. 54,000 original miles on it. There's your water intake, exhaust for the furnace, electrical plug, and yes, it has a generator as well. 140 hours on the generator. And this is why we call it the submarine, because the top looks like it's got a submarine to it. We did not install periscope, so we didn't think that was a viable option. So we'll look in the front here real quick. Again, full restored interior, new door panels, new stereo, new seats, new carpet. Matt did a great job on the front end, front dashboard. The, he did the kind of did the whole cab up here. Uh, new headliner as well, LED lights, audio systems, uh, steering wheel. Looks really cool. Okay, let's go in the back and show you the cool stuff. You know, as if that wasn't cool enough. So check this out. Here's the door. Let me close this one first. This way I can do a presentation. But you can see there's a little bit of clear coating coming off the back of the door here too. All right. Ta-da! All new, all new inside. All new flooring. This was very, very mauve. We got rid of all the mauve. And again, it was pretty much gutted except for the kitchen and the bathroom area. So we'll start with the bathroom in it. We did redo kind of a rustic look. Uh, waterproof wallpaper back here all sealed up. Zach did an awesome job. We weren't going to mess with the bathroom, and he's like, no, I want to do it. So he did it. So that's the restroom. Nice wet bath. Uh, this side, a couple cabinets up top. Got cool rustic looking handles, which I bought from Hobby Lobby. Yes, I like shopping at Hobby Lobby cool stuff there so a couple cabinets up there a uh, big closet here and then under, down there you've got uh, four drawers got four drawer on the floor nice big refrigerator microwave so the microwave uh, down here the microwave was down here and it didn't work, and I thought we thought it's kind of a stupid place for microwave because you got to stand on your head to use it. So we took that out, made a nice heavy-duty drawer 
for pots and pans or whatever and installed a new microwave up here where it kind of makes more sense it does have a hood vent and light underneath there it is a four burner stove all redone countertops cutting board dual sinks stainless steel backsplash over here dinette all new cushions again all the countertops have been redone along with all the tables so they all match this folds down into a, a kid bed generator a new thermostat for the furnace all new headliner all new barn wood whitewash wood tongue and groove so got two seats up here uh, this one has three seat belts on it and this thing this folds out nice and easy like that and then that one folds out and makes a really large bed so probably one of the biggest beds I've seen in a, in a camper like this up here obviously both seats flip around you got a table for this area there's also a table for this area too and that table is stored right there the round table gets stored in here down there we're not used cup holders remote holder um, all new LED lights and if you look underneath here there's a charge port and then by the table there's a charge port as well USB port and then up here as well with a battery uh, tender as well all right, you can see the voltage on the battery new curtains just just a you guys did a great job on this thing so audio system you got a new stereo up here you saw the speakers in the door so when you're driving down the road you control that radio and that works for these speakers back here one on each side and then when camping you got your TV that goes into this audio system so you have front speakers here and then kind of surround sound with rear speakers up there. And that's what's cranking now too. Uh, new Max Air fan. There's also a new small fan in the bathroom. Um, cup holders, new battery, battery storage underneath there. Uh, let's see, this, this cabinet opens and that just gets to the electrical wires for electrical plug and 12 volt back in there and the antennas, wires and stuff like that. So, yeah, all new upholstery. All this, all this is brand new upholstery as well. Um, guys, just did a, just been a really fun project. Um, so this is going to go on eBay, uh, hopefully Sunday night. Um, I just, I got, I got to thank my whole team on this one. The, the team did a great job. Not, and you know, and not just the team, but all the companies that we work with um, in the area that do stuff for us. Art from uh, A1 Upholstery. And yes, I have a cheat sheet here. Obviously, Bruce Coster, Bruce my brother in law, is brucing these things up for us. I bought this project just for him as he's an awesome woodworker. Um, so he headed up this video. Uh, Zach, obviously, been with us for tons of years. Um, Gideon did all the electrical on here. Matt, I said, did the front. Uh, Josh Ray's detail. Joe Willis does a bunch of work for us. Um, Jay Newick helps us out with all these projects. So this is a whole team effort. And like I said, not just our team, but all the businesses that we use around us that help us put this together. So uh, we appreciate everybody that works for us. We appreciate you guys for your support and um, watch for it on eBay. It will go on Sunday night. We'll put a link, uh, link to this video as well and you'll see the advertisement. So enjoy the rest of your weekend.